Let's go over a few tips on naming your layers in Figma. I think that you should definitely name your layers because it's simply then easier to navigate what you have created for you and for others, right? So for complete beginners, of course, these are layer names, right? Nothing probably surprising there. But what is key about naming your layers? What is key to understand is that Figma has a very powerful bulk renaming feature where you can rename multiple layers at once. So first, let's just go through the basics of renaming layers. You, of course, can double click the name, the layer name, if that's, if that's like a frame, because then when you have an ordinary layer, like a full photo, of this person you're not able to see the name so you have you have to change that here um, but if you have like a frame you can double click the name on the canvas and rename that right to whatever you need and then also of course on in the layers panel but an even easier way to do this would be selecting the layers you need to rename and then pressing command r right and in that case, when you do that, you're able to then rename the layer, so like customer photo, back to the initial name, right? Uh, because as you can see, if I select this person, then Command R, you can see that immediately able to type and again, Command R and just rename, right? So that's a very powerful shortcut um, that you can use for naming your layers. And now let's just go over the bulk renaming feature that is extremely powerful for like working with your layers, right? So let me just do a couple of things. I'm gonna duplicate these photos, then go to scale, which means I'm gonna press the K on my keyboard and then do 2x. This is gonna make the layers twice as large. Customers' photos, right? Their photos gonna make them twice as big. And then I can also duplicate this again and uh, I'm gonna go to scale again and go for 50%, which is gonna make them twice as small, right? So we have five people, five customers in three different sizes. Usually you would organize this in the context of a component, but in this case, we're just gonna use this situation that we have. So first of all, you can use find and replace on your layer names. So I'm gonna select all of these and then go command R. Remember the shortcut, but now something different happens. We get this window that says rename five layers. So we can bulk rename uh, the layers and do all sorts of stuff. So for this, in this case, let's say we wanna remove the word photo from all these names right so first of all as you can see i can go match and rename two in these two uh, form fields i want to basically remove the space bar and then photo so i'm just going to type in match into match space bar photo right and this is the preview of the result which means that we have now removed the word photo from the name along with the space but so let's say that owner i want to replace this with something else let's say i want to go for Instead of customer photo, I want to have customer avatar, right? So I can just replace, find and replace. In this case, let's just say we want to go for just customer, okay? So all of these are now called customer, but let's say that we want to number these. We can also do that. We want to go customer one, customer two, customer three, four, and five. We can do that with the same feature as well. So let me select all of these, command R, and then notice these three buttons. So we want to go for number, ascending but then at the same time we want to maintain the word customer so let's just type in customer underscore this regular exp expression i believe for an ascending number by the way if you're familiar with regular expressions which i am not uh, you can use that here in this window so if that's something you're already familiar with you can use that here super powerful for our purposes for my purposes across all the projects that I did in Figma, this was definitely enough. So, right, so we have an ascending number right here. So customer underscore zero one. And you can see that this happened. We get, we go from five to four. That the reason for this is I believe Figma considers the, the uppermost layer to be the first one. So we could do like, we could either put this layer on the top and then this one right below it and so on. Or we could simply go back, revert these changes, like let's, revert these changes and we could use uh, customer underscore descending. This will appear to be descending, but actually it's gonna be ascending when going from left to right. And so it's uh, apparently you need to consider that Figma is gonna consider the topmost layer as the first one, 
which makes sense, right? In the layer listing, that, that actually makes sense. Okay, so, and now let's say that we wanna do the same for the small versions and the big version. So let me just select these and command R and customer underscore descending, right? Should be the same, customer zero one, two, three, or four, five, right? This remains, select all of these, command R, customer underscore descending number. So we have named all of these and we could also do like, let's say that we wanna, instead of customer, we wanna use person. So let's, let me select all of these command R. In the match field, we wanna go for customer and we wanna replace that with person. Okay, so rename. This is gonna again, rename all of these. Very powerful feature, as you can see, it saves us a lot of time. Let's say we wanna reflect the size of the photo in the name. Uh, so let's say we wanna append underscore big for the big photos and then underscore small for the small photos at the end of each layer name. We could do that by simply selecting all of this and then command R. So what we wanna do is basically go to rename to and then click current name underscore big, right? then click rename and you can see that we have appended underscore big at the end of each of these layers. We can do the same here. Select all these command R, current name underscore small rename. Okay, and now the powerful thing about this when you go to export and then click export. And of course, when you export all these 15 layers, these are gonna be the file names. So this is great for organizing like stuff to export and all that kind of stuff, very useful. So yeah, this is just a couple of tips that I use when working with layer names in Figma. There is so much more you can do with uh, this feature that I showed you, the command R feature on this bulk rename feature. You can also choose which number you start ascending or descending from. You can do all sorts of stuff. It's very powerful and definitely saves you a lot of time. So definitely keep your layers named and also when renaming, definitely make sure to save a lot of time. Consider how much time we have saved compared to if we had to like go one by one and then rename all of these one by one. This, right, that would take us minutes, maybe hours with a lot of layers. So you don't want to waste your time when you don't need to. Okay, right, that's it. Um, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, I would appreciate you leaving a like. Also, if you wanna learn how to design websites in Figma, make sure to check out my channel where I have a completely 100% free course on designing a website in Figma from scratch. So definitely go and check out that playlist. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.